Hello, I'm Dustin Berg with ProAVSchool.com. In this video, I'm going to go through a bit more Crestron programming examples. And I had a viewer request from Brandon that said, I would like to know how to program a DM switch with the following logic. Select source, select multiple or just one destination, and then press go to route. I would believe this is done with interlocks, but I have been unable to figure it out. So luckily, we've already have, we already have the skeleton of the program. It's in, found in a previous video. You can search it here on YouTube under Pro EV School on this channel. Uh, basically, we, we created this, um, I'll just bring it up here, this DM switcher where you had the main window and a pop-up to select the output. So this already has a lot of what we need. Um, from the graphical user interface side, all we really need to do is add a go button. So I'm just going to add that to this. I'm going to turn off snap to grid. It's kind of annoying. Line this to the top. And here I will go call it do root. And I will give that press join of 26. Um, close that, save it. Save this. I can compile that. And I'm not really doing anything with it right now. I'm just going to pause and plug in my computer here. So I realized I missed one other thing here. Um, on the destination, since these are now going to be toggles, so the way it worked before is you picked one and it would it would do that route and it would close the window. I'm going to turn these into toggles so you can select multiple outputs. That's not relevant, that's just to remind me. Um, what we need to do is show control feedback. If you don't click that, then we can't send the feedback back to the button so it won't change state. So what I did here is I just clicked, held down shift and clicked the other two, show control feedback. So now they'll all have control feedback shown. I'm going to close that up, save that, and power project. So on the simple side now, 26 was do root. This is here coming from the panel. Um, we're going to need the feedback of these destinations. So I'm going to select from here to here holding down shift and clicking, press F6 to bring those across, or you can just drag them, press Alt F6 and underscore feedback. So that will allow those to toggle once I put it in the proper toggles. I'm going to go here, sub colon toggle outputs, just to name that folder. And I'm going to use a toggle Say output underscore one. Actually, I'll call it destination. So the clock on the toggle, if you're if you're not sure what a symbol does, you just click on it, press F1, and it will kind of describe. Basically, in this case, the clock is what toggles the state. We don't care about set and reset. And they're actually in square brackets, so that means they're optional as well. So when you press select destination, it's going to toggle. Only when it's high, only when the toggle is set, will we get that destination feedback. Um, since I labeled it this way, I can do my copy and paste multiple again. I can go Control-C, Control-Shift-V. I want to paste three copies. And like I said, you want to double check to make sure that we incremented what we expected to increment. And we did. Okay, so that's great. Now I've got toggles. Um, they're not doing anything other than giving you the button feedback. But what I'm going to do here um, is push to outputs. I'm just going to create a buffer. 
And I shouldn't have closed this panel here. I'm just going to sort these this way. The do root will be the enable on my buffer. So since that's a button press, it will just pulse once. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, this is going to be kind of tricky here. I'll just explain what I'm doing. So I'll just do one at a time. So when you press do root and select destination one is not high, so it's not selected, it's not going to do anything. When it is selected, it's going to do this. And what I want is what we had before as the analog buffer for select destination. So I'm actually going to have to rename these two. Um, select destination. I think I'll go under alt six for a suffix, and I'll just underscore buffer or buff. Basically, these were connected right to the output, so we don't want that to be the case anymore. So this will just be on this side. So I just need to change these as well. And on this buffer, Alt plus to expand. And F4, 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 or click, hold down Shift, click, press F4. So now you see how this works. As I kind of explained before, do root is a button press. And whichever ones of these are high are going to select the destination, the appropriate destination. So if one, two, three, and four are high, then it's going to push that selected source to all four of them. And if I wanted to, I could put in a delay after the the do root to reset the source to nothing. In this case, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter at all. And because it'll just stay as source and we don't really care. The only other thing we need to do is remember that pop-up that we had. Whenever you select a destination, it's going to actually clear the pop-up. And it's going to find where it is here, select any destination. So we don't want that to be the case anymore. We want it to be on do root or cancel. So we'll just fix that here. Um, I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to go click on the single signal and go Alt R to rename globally, and I'll just call it close test pop up. So that'll rename all instances. You notice it changed it here. You can press F2 to see where it starts and finishes. Um, we want it to be close or do root, and I'm going to just Alt minus on these ones to delete them. So now I'm going to compile this and transfer it here. You always want to make sure that you're sending it to the right program slot because it will default to the next unused one. And I've actually seen some problems. I think I explained this in the last video. I've seen some problems where people will put their new program into the second slot and the first program has already taken all the ports and nothing is working properly. So I'm just going to send this. Oh, that's starting. Go in here, click this. We'll run it as. Once the program restarts, this should connect up. There we go. So if we want to route input two to all the outputs, press two, it'll give us this pop-up. We want to put it to one, two, three, and four. Do root. Rotate it all. Let's do four. Um, 
2 and 3 do root. Now the, there's obviously things we can do to, uh, to make improvements to this. Um, it's, it's holding the set items after we do a root. I don't think we'd want to keep it that way. Um, so I'll just show you quickly how you would actually want to change that. Basically, I want to look at the reset of these toggles. And here it is. You could copy and paste multiple, but it's easier to do it this way. Now, one thing about doing this is we have to put in a bit of a delay because we don't want to clear it right when you press the do root because that might not give it time to propagate through that buffer, through through uh, through this buffer here. So what I'll do is, I think I'll just do it as a stepper. The reason I like the stepper for this is I can set a pulse as the output and I can specify my delays. If you do just a regular delay signal, it will wait a certain amount of time, but then it will duplicate the type of pulse or like if it stays on, it will stay stay high. And I don't like doing that um, as a rule because it'll, it'll cause problems if you're not careful. So clear dust will be the output. Do root will be the input. We can delay it for just like 0.2 seconds, make the length 0.1 seconds. Uh, control I to complete the signal. I just need to fill this in and save that. Compile it, transfer. Just sending it there. Once it's done, this connection fail will disappear. So now let's route two to all the outputs. And the next time we go in, it's you see it's cleared. So that's exactly what we want to do. So that's a quick video. Um, I hope that helps for Brandon. That should answer your question. If you have more questions, just uh, reply to this video and uh, let me know and I'll clarify them for you. Thanks again. It's Dustin Berg with ProAVSchool.com.